There's tonight's starting pitcher, Ronaldo Lopez, his ninth season in the major leagues. Mostly with the White Sox, predominantly with the White Sox, bounced around with three teams last season. And here with the Braves, he's been a reliever since 19, uh, 2021, but they're going to pluck him into the starting rotation. Well, let's see what Brandon has for an encore after his huge night last night. He went around. Now Travis left to throw down at first. Fires a strike to Matt Olson, and there's one away. Starting Marte, the right fielder. And that looked pretty good. 97, and Marte was late. That's the slow one. I hate to see the quick one because that had some giddy up on it too. And you can see the reaction from Starling Marte as he heads back to the dugout. Lindor grounded to first. Olsen's got it. So far this season, Lindor's now one for 31 against right handed pitchers. Acuna, Albies, and Riley will bat here in the bottom of the first inning. And it's against Adrian Hauser, traded from Milwaukee in December, 31 years of age, and he gets the start here tonight. Ronald Acuna 0 for 3 last night, did walk twice. Ooh. And here he gets hit. Four seam fastball comes in and clips him. You can see the movement on this pitch. Kind of kept barreling in on Ronald, and fortunately, it caught him right on that elbow guard. Seemed trying to get the left arm out of the way. Well, we talk about it frequently. People like to jam him in with fastballs, see it all the time. That's why he wears that big guard, and he's okay and down at first base. And this will get fun tonight, I think, for the Braves. So far, the New York Mets have not thrown out a potential base dealer. 0 for 18 on the season and there goes Ronald Acuna right on cue and he stole it easily and he's going to get third pretty easily the backup catcher Narvaez threw it into center field so now a chance for the Braves to grab an early lead here Ozzie Albies is going to drive in a run did he do more than that off the top of the wall RBI double for Ozzie Albies and the Braves have the early lead two batters into the bottom of the first up and in so Little control issue early for Hauser. Almost hits Riley. He does walk him. Out of it, runners at first and second. No one out for Matt Olson. That's lined right at McNeil. Throw to second, and they double off Albies. A fortuitous spot for that line drive. Right to McNeil. And he gets it to Lindor, and they double up Albies. Four to six, two out. And Azuna bounces one for Lindor. Plays the big hop. And throws him out, and so Hauser, helped out by that line drive double play, limits the damage to just the one run. Harrison Bader set to lead off against Reynaldo Lopez here in the top of the third inning. First pitch here in the third is spanked to left center by Harrison Bader. Made a big turn. He Ooh. is going to try for two, and he's out. Bader got a little bit too aggressive, bit off more than he could chew, took off for second base, and Kelnick nailed him. 1-0 Braves into the bottom of the third inning. Top of the order for Atlanta. And Ronald delivers again. A single to left to start the bottom of the third. Already 11 runs driven in for Ozzie, and this is just the Braves' 10th game of the season. There goes Acuna, and this works out perfectly. Ronald can cruise into third, and they are at the corners with nobody out. Well, Ronald on the move, and Ozzie is able to blister one through the right side. And the Braves on top of Hauser here in the third inning. Here's Austin Riley. Right back up the middle. RBI single Austin Riley. 2-0 Atlanta. Three straight singles to start the bottom of the third for the Braves. And here's another hit. Four straight hits to start the inning. Ozzie's going to score. Three to nothing. Still nobody out. Well, Matt Olson got a look at everything against Adrian Hauser in his first at bat. He's seen 11 pitches now here tonight in just two plate appearances. And he goes out and he hooks this two seam fastball. And the line keeps moving now for the Braves. Guess what? Another hit. Five straight. Another run home. Four zip. That's five straight singles to get things started here in the third inning. Well, Adrian Hauser right now is not fooling anybody. Healthy swings here. Is this one going to drop? Yes, it does. Bader can't collect it. Six straight singles for Atlanta to start the bottom of the third, and they are loaded. Right it to the right side, and that's grabbed by Alonzo, throwing home high, but Narvaez comes down with the tag on Olsen, and they get the out. 
Alonzo playing off the line and Arcia hit it right to him. The throw was not a good one, but Narvaez does a terrific job to go up, come down, and get the tag down on Olsen. Darno with the bases still loaded and one out. Grounds one to short, should be two. Lindor with the flip, McNeil with the turn, double play, and the inning comes to an end. But the Braves stitch together six straight hits to score three runs. It's 4 0. Ronald's on base for the third time tonight. So it's a one out walk that brings Ozzy Albies up to the plate. Ronald breaks for second. He's got his second stolen base tonight. They'll make it now 0 for 20 for the New York Mets this season and trying to throw out opposing base dealers. And when it's this guy especially, you feel pretty confident he's going to get there. Ronald goes again. He stole another one. Omar Narvaez looked totally unprepared for this potential stolen base. It was almost as if he was scrambling. Now let's see if Austin Riley can get him in and make it a 5 to nothing game. Up the middle, RBI hit for Austin Riley. His second RBI knock tonight, and the Braves are on top five to nothing. The two steals for Ronald Bayoff, and Riley rakes in the RBI. Marte, Lindor, Alonzo. Hit hard and threw the hole, a base hit for Marte. And the Mets have a leadoff base runner in the sixth. Just their third hit of the night against Ronaldo Lopez. The Mets trying to get some traction in this game. Another grounder to Matt Olson, and this one is going to be a double play. Two outs. That's a thing of beauty right there for Ronaldo Lopez trying to get through this sixth inning, and the defense showing up once again. Third time tonight that Lindor has bounced it directly to Matt Olson. Hits this pretty well to right center field. Harris reaching in front of Ronald Acuna to make the catch. A single but no damage done. Lopez gets through six. Always an awesome moment to see a major league debut. That's what we have in the bottom of the six. Atlanta has a 5-0 lead, and Danielle Nunez makes his big league debut against Travis Darno in the Brave. Well, Travis Darno hits it, and McNeil makes an excellent play, but Darno slides under the tag of Alonzo. Who says catchers can't be athletic at 35 years of age? And now Kelnick. That came in on the hands, little flare, and it falls in front of Bader. Back-to-back -back hits to start the sixth. Ground ball to third. Beatty charges. High throw. Safe. And the bases are loaded with nobody out. I'd say likely an error, but this was a throw that he had to make on the run. It wouldn't be an automatic error for me because the speed of Ronald Acuna Jr. puts a little bit of pressure here on Beatty, and it's a high throw that allows Ronald to be safe. But it was going to be a great play. If you make that play, we're talking about what a really good play it is. Here's Albies. Base is juiced. Another grounder. This one fair. Alonzo will step on the first base bag. He was playing back. And the Braves score one. It's six to nothing in the sixth. And the Mets have the first two men on in the eighth. So now two in scoring position for Alonzo. And Alonzo hits one deep to left center field. Headed back toward the wall. That ball is out of here. Pete Alonzo gets the Mets back in the game with a three run homer. And it cuts the Braves lead in half. It's now six to three. And now Beatty hits a ground ball right at Albies. And he throws it wide. It hits Beatty, who is safe at first base. So Albies on a routine ground ball throws it away, and the Mets inning continues. And Tyrone hits it hard through the whole base hit. Beatty stops at second, and the Mets will get the tying run to bat in the top of the eighth. 1-1 one, one in the air. Got underneath it. Ronald Acuna in. And he takes it. So Alonzo homers, but the Braves still on top by three. Ninth inning, Mets down six to three. And they'll face the Braves' 34-year-old closer, Rysel Iglesias. Harrison Bader, first man to face him. And he lines one into center field for a base hit. Harrison Bader gets the Mets started in the ninth with his second hit of the night. The Mets now need one more base runner to get the tying run to bat. Now Narvaez, who had the base hit to start that eighth inning rally. And he lines one into right center field. That's a base hit. Headed toward the gap and all the way to the wall. Bader to third. He'll be waved home. Narvaez with an RBI double. It's now 6-4 to four Atlanta. And the Mets will get the tying run to the plate with nobody out in the ninth. And Nimmo rolls one to the right side. I'll be makes the play this time his throw is true and that's the first out. Novaez over to third but that run is not meaningful the only one that counts is the one at the plate. Ground ball to the right side the run will score but Albies gets the second out. It's now six to five but now the Mets are down to their final out 
of the night with just one out to play with Lindor who's 0 for 4 tonight and 1 for 33 as a left hand batter this year comes up against Iglesias and he bloops one behind shortstop on comes Harris and drops in for a base hit Lindor with only his second left handed hit of the season and now the Mets of the tying run aboard and Pete Alonso coming up tying run over at first base two down here's the 2 2 struck him out change up in 